Hi class, uh, welcome to week three. I hope that you are uh, getting used to the pace of the assignments and the three due dates and that everything's going well. Um, I wanted to take a minute and talk about some of the things that you'll be doing this week. We're really gonna start getting into the bulk of the course um, and you'll notice that we're working towards both your argumentative uh, topic that you'll use for the whole semester and other uh, good writing techniques. So just a couple tips on each of the lessons beginning with um, lesson five. So in lesson five you're going to learn a technique called uh, mapping and it's a um, Oops, let me go back to uh, where it explains it. It is a, a strategy presented by Neil Postman um, that helps you uh, map an argument. Um, so what you'll end up doing is um, mapping Postman's article with lesson five, and then with lesson six, you'll be mapping the article that you're gonna uh, write your first essay to and that you're gonna use as your research topic for the semester. So I'll talk, talk about that in a minute. Um, but in lesson five, you'll notice and pay attention to, these are the only, only parts you have to map um, for this first mapping assignment. So don't do all this extra work yet because we're gonna spend some time talking about all of those. So really just map what's here outlined in those red uh, boxes. And remember that you're mapping Postman's article for lesson five, um, and you'll find that in the lesson. Um, so, so you're not mapping anything else. It's in the reading assignment. Then when you get to lesson six, you'll be doing maps again, but you're going to map the article that you chose from all that from that list in lesson four. So you're going to go back to the mapping grid and remember you're only mapping what's in the red boxes. That's the same for this assignment, um, but you're going to map your article and that article will be important because it's going to be the one you use for your first essay. Um, it's going to be the topic for your entire semester long research um, and it's going to end up being um, kind of your focus for the next couple weeks. So choose carefully. Remember the rule that you need to email me if you're choosing something that's not listed there. Um, and so that's what you'll be mapping for lesson six. And then in lesson seven, you're going to learn the CREAC model, which is our first um, sort of dive into argumentative writing and paragraph structure. So if it'll click on lesson seven for me right here. Uh, you'll be learning this particular uh, model of paragraphs where you work with um, identifying evidence versus analysis. And you're gonna use a talk by Elder Bednar to identify evidence and analysis. And I need to let you know that the bulk of his talk is either evidence or analysis. So when you do this assignment, it shouldn't be a small um, part, like a small submission. It's a pretty lengthy assignment because you're basically looking at everything that Elder Bednar says and determining is this um, evidence or is it analysis and you're going to be using the chart that's in the lesson to identify that. So make sure that you uh, break apart the whole talk and you look at every um, every part of it because that will get you full credit on that assignment. So hopefully that's helpful for this week. Let me know if you have questions. I'd also be interested to know if these videos are helpful to you or if there's things that you would like me to be saying here or talking about that I am not. Um, and I'll happily add that. So if you could let me know in the questions and discussions uh, discussion board for this week, um, if you're liking these videos, if they're helpful, and what other information I could provide to help you. Have a great week and let me know if you need anything. Thanks.